Welcome back, y'all. It's been a little, little while since we said we we're going to Oklahoma, but we're heading there now. Going to the airport. Hi guys, we're heading to Oklahoma right now. We're going to duck and deer hunt this weekend. But yeah, other than that, we'll catch y'all when we up when we're out there. Hi guys, so like Clark said, there's not really much to say, but we're going after, I got a big white cup, can't wait to show y'all. And Clark, I don't know what he's doing, got but- big muley. We got a big muley, but we're also gonna duck hunt. So we're gonna actually be cutting our deer hunting shore a little. We're gonna go scout today. And if we get up there and it's not dark, we're gonna go scout a little, see if what, where the ducks are. And if they're moving, tomorrow is going to be 25 degrees or something like that. They're going to be flying. They're going to be trying to get warm. They're going to be moving good. We got some mojos. All our mojos are in Bama, so we had to go get some new ones for Oklahoma. But it's game time. Alright guys, well if you didn't hear, we declared our emergency landing. Uh, lost autopilot and lost all the avionics on the left side. And what do you say, something about the passenger side? Passenger side was working. But... Uh, passenger side worked, everything on the left side, where he was flying, uh, we'll stop working, but we landed, we're good. Uh, hopefully they can, it's just a little fix. I don't know if we're stopping in town or not, but I think we're about to head out to the to the house. But yeah, we got dad here. What's up? See any deer? Couple, couple. Car, yeah. what are you after this weekend? Me? There's a couple of deer. There's a mule deer that's really nice. He's pretty big. He's in the spot that I hunted all last year. So probably gonna hunt it again and try to get him. Then after some ducks. I'll probably be hunting mostly ducks. And then in the afternoons, I'll be deer hunting. Oh, yeah. About to get on the road about an hour drive out. And we'll pick y'all up back at the house. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We're actually getting ready for duck hunting in Oklahoma. Kansas. Or actually, we'll be in Kansas, but we're in Oklahoma. But I'm going to get these mojos put together, and then we're going to go... Put them out actually, so we ain't gotta do it early in the morning. And we're gonna go scout this place, see where they look, what they're doing, and see where they're at. So we'll catch y'all over there. All right, so we're gonna get those, the other decoys, some binoculars, and load up the trailer and defender and head over there. And so see y'all over there. Hi right, guys, we just loaded the defender up. She's ready to go. We're gonna go to what we call Max Mealy's, where I killed that big deer. If you haven't seen that video, go watch the house tour, Bama tour, part two, and you'll see the big deer I'm talking about. But, do you want to see some? Yeah, should be fine, hopefully. Which so, yeah, the wind's blowing out of the southeast, and that's how we'll be set up southeast for yeah. them to fly right into so, us. So, we're gonna go over there, unload the defender, take the decoys, set them out so we ain't gotta do it in the morning, because. We do. Only thing we'll put out in the morning is mojos. Yeah, and you better grab your waiters. They're in there. All right, and uh, so we'll see y'all over there unless we see something crazy on the way, so. So, we're over here at Max's. It's, uh, how many acres? Six, six, something. six something. But we got a creek that runs through over there all the way through the property and every time we've deer hunted we've seen at least a group of 20 mallards and hens and stuff there's some deer actually right there there's two right there tomorrow's deer season 
Opening day is there. Opening so, day. Uh, opening day of deer in Oklahoma. Opening day of duck in Kansas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duck hunt in the morning. We're All gonna right. try to kill kill our ducks, and then we'll be done with ducks. But <coughs> and then we'll deer hunt tomorrow afternoon. We'll see it. We'll get it done that But way. we're gonna run this creek and see what we see. So you yeah, get ready. Best this is fresh. So that right there is what you call a scrape. That's a rub. A rub. But we're looking for another spot. Really just trying to see if we see any. We know they fly in here. But we're just trying to see where they're at right now. And we checked that spot. They didn't really, they weren't there. But we usually see them on that side too. So we're checking both sides. And we just came across that. There's a, there's a big deer here. All right, so we just, all right, wait, we just saw how many? Uh, like seven? Three. Six, seven? No, it was three. No, you uh, just met five more came up. There might be more. Dang. Yeah, those were green heads. How many green heads did you see? Uh, three? Yeah. I think the first three to four were three. See, and they're in this park. Dude, that's insane. So, if you look, I wonder if there's water over there. No, I think that they landed. Yeah, I don't know. So, if you look right here, down here, there's not a lot of water at all. At all. Like, we wouldn't run deep pools. Yeah, we just sit. A mojo, and that's it. Yeah, maybe. And, yeah, a mojo, and that's probably about it. Maybe maybe one deep pool. Two deep pools. Three deep pools. Yeah, a hen and a uh, green head. Yeah. That's about it. But, if y'all remember, Check that out. That's the sand that we had to flip over, remember? We uh, did pretty good. But we're gonna go check over here where they landed, see if there's a little more water. But they're gonna be, the thing is this is only the water around here, so they're gonna be there, there, and that pocket of water over there, so. Full moon, guys, or about to be. All right, well, let's hurry up. All right, so we're gonna go walk or drive around here, see if those other ones are there. But we're gonna be hunting this side for sure. All right, guys, so this is what we're working with. Got some decoys down here. Hit that, hit that patch over there. It's on camera, so you better get it perfect. Low key. We're good. Perfect. We'll sit right here against this brush, lay against it. We'll be able to see them coming that way. That way. That way and above us. We just won't be able to see them coming over us. Yes, but it'll be all right. Yeah. And go onyx. And. Our location. There we go. All right, so mark this as duck hole. Sorry, guys, I can't type. My freaking fingers are cold. Save here. Duck hole. There we go. So we'll mark that, and then we'll mark a spot where we're gonna part the defender. So we got We just gotta have enough brush. Y'all can y'all can barely see the brush, but right here, we just need it where it covers the fender, gets the black out. But uh, we'll pick y'all guys up when we figure that out. You look in front of us. Uh, I think we're pretty covered. We'll pull in here in, in the morning, but we'll go ahead and smart this spot so we know. Parking lot for duck hole. That's the good thing about Onyx. They got you can put your machine, what you're hunting, your deer stand, all that stuff. So Onyx, if you're watching, that Slinger TV uses y'all. But we're not far at all from the spot. So we're gonna go home. We're gonna go load this thing back up. Or actually, we're gonna leave this here in the morning for in the morning. But. 
gonna go get in the truck and then we go. And then we're gonna get our shotgun stuff ready, all our stuff. Get, gotta make sure we grab the mojos in the morning. And we're ready to go duck hunt, baby. It's time. We've been waiting for it. Tis the season. But the season I've been waiting on. So we'll uh, pick y'all back up in the morning. Alright guys, Clark got his gun out. Dive bomb. He wants some he wants some good gear. Dive bomb got it. But this is our floating waterproof bag. Haven't tried it out, won't try it out, but I trust him. Clark copied me, same gun, Rod Roberts, waterfall edition. We're gonna go. Y'all saw the ducks. Y'all saw them. We're going to get on them. And if the video is shaky, it's because Clark can't hold the camera straight. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get mine actually painted. I'm going to get this this all redone to uh, probably my bow camo. My Matthew's bow camo. I'm going to send it to Rob Roberts let him paint. He's got some. Go check out his Instagram, Rob, uh, Rob Roberts. I think that's what it's called on Instagram. But go check out his shotguns. They're freaking crazy sarah wants me to get this one color all right so changing out chokes is a t3 which is long range yeah, very long, long range. range you don't want to be <laughs> well we're going to be you don't want to be shooting it. so i'm going to shoot this t2 this is what we use for the dove it worked good so we're just going to use i'll switch the camera in a second but we're going to use a 20 gauge we'll pull full switch camera switching hands so I'm gonna use that T2 in the morning. Car's gonna check out, bring it over here in the light. Car's gonna check, or use this one. So y'all check this one out. 20 gauge, Super Black Eagle 3, right? Yeah, just a little sub gun. And uh, what chokes in it? It's a five, five star? Three star. Three star. Steel uh, choke. <clears throat> well, you don't need it. You don't need to take it out. But car's gonna use that in the morning. All right, so I got the dive bomb, waterproof, and floating bag. Also got their shell bag, waterproof, and I'm probably be shooting these migros tomorrow since we're so close. And I mean, we do have some long john silver. Is that funny, sir? No. But I got the long jumps just in case. You know, gotta get way out here, but I'll just shoot the migros tomorrow and the other ones I have. Uh, of course, gonna be using the 20 gauge, so he's, he's got a dive bomb too. He's got the tan, I got the brown. Yeah. What are you shooting? Winchester Ex Expert. Winchester Experts. You putting those in there? Yeah. So he'll be shooting those. 20 gauge, and I'll be good to go. I'm not too much. Yeah, I probably don't even need that many shots. But, uh, it's itching. I'm not even going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to go make a tea of pia. Look at how beautiful that was. Hold on. In the morning, too. I got the shot cannon. I'm going to throw those on in the morning. Or, I'm yeah. going to throw mine on in the morning. Clark is using that. Uh, 12 gauge, so he can't rock it. 20 gauge. All right, 20 gauge, so we'll uh, pick y'all up in the morning. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wild, like I said earlier. Correct. It's gonna be nice and crisp too. Yeah. It's gonna, show you oh. it's gonna be coldest morning of the year for us. In the morning, we'll be. Cold. What time are we going? Mm, what time sunrise? Sunrise is 7.59 a.m. 7.59? 8 o'clock. And we can shoot 30 minutes before sunrise? Mm -hmm. So 7.30. I want to be there and then. So at 7.30. So we'll be up at 6. 
Seven thirty, thirty-five degrees. Seven, six thirty, thirty-three. So it's gonna be hopefully, chill. hopefully we don't have to break ice in the morning. <laughs> we probably won't, but it's gonna be chilly, guys. So I'm gonna pick out my clothes for in the morning and make sure my waiters are by the front door because if I leave those, I'm gonna be very, very upset. But uh. I'll get ready. It's gonna be a show tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be a show. And it's gonna watch. We're gonna be talking all this, and yeah, we're about to get smashed and wake up, and I'm gonna see one dang duck. Anyways, I'm gonna go get in bed and eat my tapio. So we'll catch y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's six thirty. I think we're on schedule, I think. But uh, I load the truck up, get the decals in the truck, and head straight to Buttermilk, or I don't even know why I said Buttermilk, Max's, and then hopefully get on some birds. I mean, it's cold. Yeah, it's uh, Very it's 28 cold. degrees. <laughs> What's well, gonna be real bad is we have, if we have to get in the water and break ice to break the ice. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be bad. But I got a gunslinger TV hoodie. Three layers of shirt under it. I'm gonna throw on my dive bomb jacket. Cover all this. And then I'm rocking just the Wranglers. Wrangler, if you're watching. Alright, guys, so it's 30 minutes till shooting light. So we're gonna sit in the truck, warm the waiters up, let the defender warm up because it's freezing. Oh my gosh. It's 35 degrees right Ooh. now. And I don't want to drop the defender while it's freezing. I want to get a little heat. So we're going to warm the stuff up, get warm, and head over there about 7.20. Son, it's cold. Yeah, but so we'll see y'all over there. Verse of the day. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Things warm. Feels great, except my face, it's hot and cold, but is that everything? started pouring on us and I wish we got it on video but we started walking in car saw some black birds and was like oh my god get back get back there here they come I'm like where <laughs> they were from a long distance and, <laughs> and next I'm thing still you, waking up next thing you know they're flying right over so it's like they're right there and then I was like they're black birds I ain't a duck but we're gonna sit in the defender see what this weather does and hopefully it stops hopefully it stops in the next 20 minutes and then we can get back at, out there. I'd stay so much longer. Because it's just now clearing up. Thick. We're actually hunting this creek, which cows pee and poop in all the time. My dad deer hunted this morning. He saw it said seven, seven. I'm guessing does and a coyote. So probably ten ducks. So as soon as we got there, they flew up out of there. 
Maybe maybe two limits. Yeah, probably twelve ducks. Uh, just it started raining on us, so we had to get out. It's pouring on us. Guy in the Defender sat there, and of course, they started flying when we got in the Defender, and then we saw some. As soon as we got there, some woodies, but they were probably 200 yards from us. We, we, did, we did not have a shot. And then we saw a couple more groups when we were leaving. But we just, it just got done raining again. But it's supposed to rain for another couple hours. So we're just gonna wrap it up. Uh, go talk to my dad, see, see if he saw anything else. But, uh, I don't think we're done cutting duck hunting again this week. So if you like the video, hit a thumbs up, subscribe. At 1,500 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. I think we're pushing it. We're almost there. Got the Gunslinger TV hoodies, and the shirts, or follow me right here on Instagram, Gunslinger TV, and we're doing a giveaway at 1,500. It's either the shirts or you get a rod and reel combo. But if you follow me on, on Instagram, you get to vote. I'm going to have a poll up as soon as we hit 1,500. And we may do maybe two people. Me and Clark got to discuss that. But we may do two people. Someone gets the rod and reel, someone gets the shirts. But we'll see. But thanks for watching, Clark. Thank you. We'll see you all in the next one. See you all in the next one.